The head of the Environmental Protection Agency continues to draw fire tonight, and not just from Democrats. The latest on this now from Chip Reed. But it's acting like a moron. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy today joined the growing list of Republicans who are questioning EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt's fitness for office. If you can't use uh, good judgment and put taxpayers first, it's time to find another line of work. Pruitt blames his troubles on his enemies, those who oppose his agenda of eviscerating environmental regulations. With great change comes, you know, I think opposition. Pruitt's troubles began last year with stories about his extensive use of first-class travel, which he said was necessary to defend him from threats from the public. He used the same rationale to explain his unusually large security detail that cost taxpayers nearly $3.5 million last year alone. And he's been accused of using his security team to run errands, including picking up his laundry and, according to today's Washington Post, searching for his favorite moisturizing lotion. The EPA today defended the use of his security detail, saying Administrator Pruitt follows the same security protocol whether he's in his personal or official capacity. Pruitt was also criticized for leasing an apartment for just $50 a day from a lobbyist who's married to another lobbyist who lobbied the EPA. Pruitt defends using his connections to help his wife inquire about getting a Chick-fil-A franchise. And, uh, look, my wife is, is an entrepreneur herself. Thank you, Scott, very much. EPA Despite Pruitt's story. troubles, there's one person who doesn't seem to be bothered, so long as he's cutting environmental regulations. EPA is doing really, really well. There are at least 10 ongoing investigations of Pruitt, but since he still has the support of President Trump, his job appears to be secure, at least for now. Jeff? All right, Chip Reed in our D.C. Bureau. Chip, thank you.